guys welcome back to my channel i am makeup by car may for those of you who may not know welcome to the party if y'all see these like little strings in the video if you watch my valentine's day vlog you know that ej bought me all these balloons and they're still up flying around and i'm sitting in the area that they're in so they just keep like coming into the scene anywho so I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a long time. I've been really busy like this week because by now I really would have put out probably like two videos, but I've been really busy. So I had to, I had to get myself together because I can't be slipping. But today I am trying out this setting powder that I've been wanting to try out for so long. I hear so many good things about it and I'm just kind of geek that I'm getting ready to try it out. I used to go looking for this powder. Like I've been looking for it for years and have not been able to find it in the store. And one day I was just up in Walmart and they had it. And I was so like excited because they had a whole bunch of them. So this right here is the powder I'm talking about. This is the Air Spun Translucent Loose Powder. Everybody swears by this powder. Like I've watched so many makeup tutorials on here and I just see so many people talking about this powder like this is the best thing ever. So it's supposed to have a nice finishing, no flashback. I'm just really curious and decided. Like I don't want to be let down. I'm always on a hunt for a really good setting powder. The ones I use all the time now is the Juvia's Place Kalahari powder and the Laura Mercier powder. And in the Laura Mercier, I use the yellow one. So I swear by those two powders. I don't know if this is going to compare. I'm kind of nervous because have y'all ever just had on a really bad setting powder like how it makes your makeup look like i don't want to look like that oh mm -mm. so that's why i'm scared but i'm gonna stop talking and i'm just getting to this video let's just get to it because I, I gotta see what's up so i went ahead and did my brows off camera now it's time for eyeshadow primer i'm using my p louise base in the shade rumor three I don't know what kind of look I'm doing today for real. I think I'm just doing something simple and cute just so I can test this powder out. Now I'm going into my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I'm gonna grab this shade right here and that's gonna be my transition color. Now I'm not gonna pick up any more product. I'm just gonna use that brush that I was using to blend out my eyeshadow primer and I'm just going over my lid with it just using whatever product is left on my brush because I don't necessarily want to cut the crease but I do need some more eyeshadow primer on but not a lot using the same palette I'm going to grab this shade right here and kind of put that on the lid Okay, still using the same palette, grabbing this dark brown shade, gonna put it like in the crease a little bit, smoke it out, but not too much, just enough, just doing a little something. Still using the same palette. That's why I love this palette so much. I get so many great looks out of this palette. But we're grabbing this black shade right here. And this is how we're gonna really smoke it out. Give it that, mm, that I'm looking for. About to dive into complexion. I'm using one of my favorite primers. This is the Becca Ever Matte Primer. Of 
for foundation i am using a new one if you watched my last video this is the morphe filter effect foundation this has been being very good to me too like i love this one i am shade 1023 morphe y'all y'all did y'all thing with this close to seeing what this powder is going to look like for concealer i'm using my morphe hide and peak concealer and for contouring i'm using my maybelline fit me foundation stick <laughs> for the moment of truth I'm ready to use the airspun powder oh my gosh if I can get open y'all babe can you open this oh my gosh oh never mind I got it it's gonna come a little puffy thingy it smells good it smells like baby powder I'm gonna set this to the side I'm not gonna use this right now Pour some in the lid. Let's see. Get my brush in here. Shake some of the excess off. And oh my gosh, it smells just like baby powder, y'all. Okay, a little patting. Dip in for some more. Pat again. Ooh, I am so nervous because it's so white. Oh, I'm scared. It smells really good. It smells just like baby powder. Mixed with some perfume because now I'm starting to smell perfume too. Let's see. Hopefully, this be good to me. Cause y'all, this was so inexpensive. It was only five seventy two at Walmart. So I might be on to something here. I don't know. So if you normally watch me, you know I don't go overboard with the setting powder, and I don't let it sit for too long. So this is where we're at. It's looking white. So hopefully, once I dust this off. Hopefully, I look good. And it's no flashback. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the whole test. To dust this away, I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Press Powder. So I can't tell yet 
Now, I know I love to do that trick when you take your foundation brush and just press all the powder in. Okay, I'm almost there, but not ready yet. So I have to set my contour first. I'm using my Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette and I always mix these two brown shades together. So I'm getting ready to set my contour. Now it's time for that foundation brush trick. This makes a huge difference with your look. Just taking your brush and pressing all the powder in, it just makes everything look so much better. So after this trick, I should be able to tell, but I'm still gonna do the flash test because you can't be out here with your girls and y'all taking pictures and then you got two big blotchy white things under your face. Okay, it looks good so far. I'm feeling it. This might be something I could get used to, but that flash test, that's what's gonna tell it all. So let me finish this look out. Using my Stargirl Cosmetics Spectrum Lust Palette, I'm gonna grab this green shade right here, and that's what I'm gonna use to smoke out my bottom waterline. Pop of green cute. I got this from a, a Pinterest look. And I was like, oh, okay. I always use blue. I never thought about using green. Now I'm gonna wing it out using my NYX matte liquid liner. For blush, going into the Warrior 2 palette, I'm mixing this pink shade and this brown shade together. What should I do? No, okay, okay. I'm gonna use the peach and the brown shades mixed together. I think that would be cuter. For highlighter, I'm using the Milani highlighter. Y'all, I'm so mad right now, I don't even know what to do. My eyeliner wasn't done drying and it got all up here. Like, do y'all see that? What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to fix that? I don't even know how to fix that without messing something up. I'm like so mad. Okay, I got some Q-tip to see if this will work. Cause it's not like mascara where it could just like come off like that. This is eyeliner. And I don't think it's working. Oh my gosh. It's not really working. I don't know if I should just leave it. Like, it looks so bad. I just knew this look was gonna leave fire. I can't believe this happened. I'm gonna fix it. Okay, let me see. Put some alcohol on here. Let's see if it come off that way. Okay, it looks like I just have to leave it because I don't, I don't see me fixing it. So let me just keep, just keep pushing and let it go. For mascara, I'm using my Lancome Definitive Mascara before I put my lashes on. I'm still undecided on what lash I'm doing, so I really need to figure that out. I still can't believe that happened to my eyeshadow. Like, I'm so mad about that. <laughs> For lashes, I'm using CC Winks Minks, of course. These are my absolute favorite lashes. The kind I'm using today, these are called Coco. on and they are popping hopefully it takes away from the fact i my eyes messed up over here because yeah going into my bella noya collection unicorn sky palette i'm gonna grab what green i want to do well i think i'm gonna do this green and put a little bit in the tear dust area and i'm gonna use my ardell duo lash glue to do so We're almost done, it's time for lips, then we'll be through. So I can't find my lip liner, so I'm using my 
ColourPop Liquid Matte. It is in the shade Limbo, and that is gonna be my lip liner. Then I'm using my Bare Minerals Smooch Liquid Matte, and to top it off, I'm using my Morphe Flower Crown Lip Gloss. Okay, so let's just say I suck at recording from the other side, like turning my phone around and trying to record myself. Yeah, I know it looks bad. But as y'all can see, Airspun definitely passed the flash test. Like, it looks amazing. And I can't believe I've been sleeping on this powder for this long. Like, 572. And then, look how big it is. This is a lot. And it smells good. I just can't believe I've been asleep on this. Like, this looks really good. And I hate to say it for real. Y'all, don't, don't come at me. I know how y'all like to tussle. I think I like this better than the Laura Mercier. I think I do. Now, I still love my Juvia's place. That ain't going nowhere. Okay, that's still my number one favorite powder. But this, I'm sorry, they, they didn't outdid Laura Mercier, I feel like. I don't know, y'all. I just, it's like I hate to say it, but I think they kind of did. I don't know. But I just really love how this looks. Okay, so more of the whole story. <laughs> y'all need to get this powder. Like, don't sleep. This is really good. And it's really inexpensive. Not saying put down all the rest of your powders. Like, if you just needed something really quick and something convenient, this is this is it because i love how this looks finishing is everything it's scary at first because i know it scared me like having all that white powder on my face and i'm like i don't know but no you guys it looks really good i think i might have found the best inexpensive powder this might just be it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope y'all enjoyed this cute quick little simple look i did make sure you hit that thumbs up button and make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified every time I post. And don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Ms. Carmay. Thanks, you guys, again. See you in the next video. Bye.